Hi there, internet commenter. You've been sent a link to this video because someone is concerned that you might not be arguing your case to your utmost ability. They're concerned you might have used a fallacy to make an important point, thus defeating your own claim. The fallacy they're concerned you might have used is the straw man fallacy. Contrary to what many people would have us believe, a straw man is not simply an argument that you dislike or find inconvenient. Rather, it is a version of an argument that is misrepresented, simplified, so that it is easier to knock over. Just as an actual man made of straw is a less solid version of a man made of flesh, a straw man argument is a less solid version of a fully fleshed out argument. A straw man replaces or represents whatever actual argument is being made. Straw manning can come in many different forms. It's not even always intended. Intentional. You might accidentally construct a straw man if you don't fully understand the depth of an argument. And that is fine. It happens to the best of us. However, to intentionally misread or misrepresent an argument to simplify the process of discrediting it, that's a little bit less forgivable. To take nuanced points out of context, to ignore crucial information, to even exaggerate claims to the point of absurdity, which is then easier to refute, these are all straw man tactics. For example, Mike and Straw Mike are having a conversation about about how to responsibly depict awful stuff in media. I don't think it's too much to ask that when a media creator wants to show heinous or awful stuff, they do so in a context that shows that that stuff is heinous and awful. Oh, so now we're not allowed to show violent or terrible things unless we include some long-winded sermon about how bad things are bad? I think creators should be able to show or do whatever they want. The original argument states a preference for what Mike thinks constitutes the responsible use of media. The straw man argument recasts this as something much simpler and easier to agree with. Freedom is good, censorship is bad. But now Mike and Straw Mike are no longer arguing about the same point, and so the conversation will quickly become unfocused and aggressive, which is never fun. If you're gonna win an argument, you wanna win against what the other side actually thinks, don't you? A straw man argument keeps that from happening. I hope this description of the straw man fallacy has been helpful. Happy conversing.